Hi. I don't want to do this. But it's for science. Okay, here we go. I'm going to lie down on my right side. Okay. Okay. Oh, that doesn't feel... That doesn't feel too bad. Right, the room is starting to spin for me. I'm struggling to focus on you. But I don't know if my eyes are moving or not. I can't... I just feel dizzy. I have vertigo. After being in the sea last week, you might have seen I was free diving. <clears throat> so I was upside down in the water quite a bit and face down. Oh, this is settling down now. Oh, I feel better. And because I'm lying on my right side, my right posterior semicircular canal has got some bits in it which are affecting the flow of fluid endolymph around the semicircular canal, affecting my balance, it's giving me vertigo. What happens if I sit back up again? Oh, yeah, the room is spinning. I think. Oh, I feel better than I did, but <clears throat> I'll only be able to see when I play this back as to whether I've got any funny eye movements going on, indic indicative of my vestibular system not working properly. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> um, BPPV, benign, paroxysmal, positional, vertigo, P's might be the other way around, something like that. Um, calcium carbonate, crystals. Inner ear, semicircular canals, balance, and the movements of your eyes are linked by some clever circuits to the balance collecting information in your inner ear, your semicircular canals, which let you keep your eyes focused on something very easily as you move your head. But if the information on one side is different to the information on the other side, <laughs> those circuits don't work very well. And you feel really dizzy and really unwell. You feel, you know, I've been feeling seasick on land for a couple of days. Oh, anyway, I'm in Dundee. Um, I'm working for a few days up here as an external examiner. I've got an exam board meeting. That's it. That's all you get at Dundee. I've got work to do. Uh, hopefully I'll be feeling better by the weekend. Yeah, so I was reading about jellyfish on the train. I'm back in Swansea now. And um, in the Medusa phase, some jellyfish then um, reproduce and die after reproducing. And they do kind of do it all together in response to light and stuff. So I wonder if it was a lot of dead jellyfish after a, like a spawning period. I don't know. I don't know much about jellyfish. They're very... Very weird. There's a lot to know about jellyfish as well. Yeah, that you were really interesting. Me of. <laughs> it's because we saw some cool ones snorkeling last week, right? Oh yeah, they were amazing. We saw some uh, salps. My sister was telling me little stringy things with dots on them. Really salps have got an interesting life cycle. Yeah, crazy. Um, my vertigo is getting a little bit better after doing many Epley manoeuvres through the week. It's a bit worse now after <laughs> Kim driving through the lanes. <laughs> what were you trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> feel a bit seasick um, so we're gonna go back to <laughs> climbing sport routes off the beach at Brazilia like we were a couple of weeks ago because I can't I can't get into too much mischief or danger doing that so we'll give it a go but oh my word there are so many people out in Brazilia today and there are so many people climbing but nobody climbs seaman walls right we should be You've we should be fine there'll be plenty of room we're just not going on the busy walls because we're the locals we can do them whenever. An external examiner in the UK um, works at one university and goes to another university. The main point is is that 
all the universities and all the courses in those universities have examiners from other courses, from other universities, and we all kind of look at what everybody else is doing, and that, that's the method by, by which the level is standardised, so the level of the degree is the same from different universities, because because of that. Uh, and we only do like a short period of a few years, and then you, you all rotate around. It's great, because you get to see what other people are doing, you get to meet other people in the same field as you and realise they're having the same difficulties. Um, and you get ideas, and you do get to see the level. Um, the other thing we do is, you know, we keep an eye and make sure that universities are actually following their own processes that they've written out for themselves, that those processes are clear to students. Um, but, you know, all that humdrum, humdrum stuff that university students never get to see but happens in the background. And <laughs> Dundee is a very long way from Swansea. Nine hours on the train up, Nine hours on the train back, and then my train broke down with 11 miles to go. <laughs> UK trains. Um, but I got home eventually with not too They just switched it off and on again, basically, and it seemed fine after that. I don't know. So it's been a bit... It's been a bit of a long week, and I'm very glad it's the weekend. So now we're going to go and climb some very easy cliffs. Because my vestibular system, because my semicircular canals aren't working very well, the semicircular canals link to your eyes so that you can focus on things, you can look at things, particularly when you're moving like I am now. Um, so this camera is stabilised and that's, I mean, your eyes do a better job. Your vestibular ocular reflex does a better job than the camera does. But yeah, when I'm... <laughs> it's, it feels like that most of the time when I'm very vertigo-y. If you think this is a stupid idea, then yeah, fair enough. Um, I went running this week with Vertigo as well and um, fell over and dissected my own hand. So yeah, I'm full of stupid ideas. These are, these are well kept. They look like well kept. Yeah. We're in the shade again, we're letting the tourists have the sun. <laughs> yeah, two fleeces on, it's chilly. This will be fine, looking up is fine, just don't look down. So there's me and two fleeces, and there's two oh, people yeah. like this in the soups. Yeah, Ooh, it's So I can look up, and I can look ahead, and I can look left and right, but when I look down, whoa, but you actually have to do a lot when you're climbing to place your feet, that's when I get really <laughs> wobbly. So that's where the vertigo thing comes from, as in when you, you've got heights I think, don't look down, because it's that. That semicircular canal pathology that gives you the vertigo. You do actually need to look down, and looking down is fun. It's just if you've got vertigo, it triggers it. But there we go. It's not too bad. So I've got to get over there. Yeah, I can foot traverse. There we go. Oh god, I'm having an extra grade for the vertigo. <laughs>
There you go. See, I don't know what you were worried about. We didn't have a mischief or anything. Didn't fall off and hurt myself. Just had didn't a bit fall of a off laugh. the ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> didn't. Um, yeah, it's fine. Oh, looking up and belaying is fine. In fact, it helps. But oh, <laughs> but looking down at my feet is Talk is stuff. bad. All right, give it another week. It'll be fine. It'll be fine.